Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and today I want to introduce you guys to a new form of 3D printing that was created inside MIT. They call this liquid metal printing, or LMP, and it's pretty cool sounding. What they do is they take molten aluminum along with some glass beads, and they use that to produce some functional metal 3D printed objects that are also strong enough to withstand the post-processing and milling procedures that may be used to make things like furniture. All right, sounds pretty cool, right? Let's take a look at it here. So as it says here, this liquid metal printing technique involves depositing molten aluminum along a predefined path into a bed of tiny glass beads. And then the aluminum quickly hardens into a 3D structure, and at that point it's ready to be used or further processed. Now one of the advantages of using LMP as opposed to an alternative metal additive manufacturing process has to do with speed. Because according to the folks at MIT, they can 3D print objects at least 10 times faster using their method than other methods. But there's a trade-off to that as well because they sacrifice the resolution in favor of speed. So they're not able to get some really nicely detailed 3D prints out of it. But Another advantage of them using aluminum is that the aluminum is more efficient to recycle and it's more efficient to melt. They printed things such as aluminum frames and different parts for tables and chairs. And they also think that this can be really useful for industrial purposes or, or construction and really just anything in general where you don't really care about how pretty something is just as long as it's cost effective and efficient and most of all strong enough to withstand the task that they needed to do. So here's a quote from Skylar Tibbetts, who is credited as the associate professor in the Department of Architecture and the co-director of the Self-Assembly Lab and also senior author of a paper introducing LMP. And they say, quote, this is a completely different direction in how we think about metal, about metal manufacturing that has some huge advantages. It has downsides, too. But most of our built world, the things around us, like tables, chairs and buildings, doesn't need extremely high resolution. Speed Speed, scale, repeatability, and energy consumption are all important metrics. And I do agree with that. I think that that is also very true. And as far as the glass beads that they use, I also thought that that was really awesome as well. They can't see what's actually going on as the metal is being pushed through the nozzle and then being implanted into those beads, but they can obviously see the results here. So they say here they experimented with several different materials to fill the print bed, including graphite powders and salt before they decided on the 100 micron glass beads because those beads can withstand the high temperatures of molten aluminum and act as a neutral suspension so that the metal can cool quickly. Now what does this mean for the world of figure feedback? Because MIT says that they're not able to produce things of high resolution. So that means we're not going to be getting really cool detailed statues made out of molten aluminum anytime soon. And that's very true. But I think we need to look around the figures and think about some of the things that we need in order to showcase them. In this case, Furniture, since they're able to produce these metal frames for furniture parts really, really quickly, I think that those things can be used to make some awesome displays of different shapes, of different patterns, and even something that's really just kind of basic, you know, like these displays that I have behind me. Just something that could stand up on, a, on about four different uh, vertical bars, and then you have some in between, just big enough for you to put down a piece of wood or a piece of glass in between so that you can have a platform to set your figures on I think that would be really really cool to do and the fact that it was made from a 3d printing process of course is another huge advantage and because it's a metal that means that it's going to be built to last and it's going to be strong so I wouldn't mind having something like that printed just to display my things especially if you're all about the whole 3d printing life and you just want to be able to say I have 3d printed figurines on my 3d printed metal display Display. I think that is pretty cool, but I wanted to just share this with you because it is a uh, new form of 3D printing that uh, hopefully we'll be able to pick up some steam in the future and we'll be able to see what that what happens when it comes to manufacturing and producing uh, hopefully some consumer products at some point in the years to come. So that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see some more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe and until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.